morning guys. This is my hiking slash survival gear 2013. The reason why I call it uh, my hiking and survival gear is this is generally what I carry when I go backpacking. But I also keep this pack in my car all year long in case I'm ever in trouble. Uh, just to give you a little background about me is uh, I live in Alberta, Canada. I am a day hiker and I do occasional overnighters. It is October right now and generally speaking the hiking season starts mid-September and runs all the way to about uh, mid-April for me. I have over 20 years experience in the outdoors. I have a pretty good idea what to carry but I'm always open to new ideas and suggestions. The gear is, uh, that I have is slowly getting better over the years. I'm kind of a homemade gear kind of guy. I do a lot of shopping at thrift stores. And I've been doing a video like this every year for the past three years. And I said as long as I'm getting new gear, I will continue keep making these videos. It's also good for me to look back on these videos and, and see how things are hopefully improving. Uh, before I get started, I just want to say this is generally what I carry. Uh, sometimes I carry more. Sometimes I take things out of this pack if I don't need them for a certain day hike. All depends on what I'm doing. I basically go hiking, practice bushcraft skills, survival skills, and just generally enjoy the outdoors. And I will post anything that is new from last year. One of the first things that, the biggest things that's new is my backpack. This is an Ovis Form Boulder 85. Big improvement over my Arrow Mountaineer that I used to have. So I'm just going to start unpacking and explaining why I carry these things. First off, on the outside of my pack, you'll see there's a 24 inch buck saw. Uh, if you go hiking anywhere during the winter and the cold, this is a must have for me. I spend at least half my time cutting wood when I go out hiking. And folding saws are great for emergencies, but if you're going to be doing lots of wood cutting, I recommend a buck saw. They are a pain sometimes. They do. This one kind of sticks out, and sometimes when I'm walking through thick brush, it tends to get snagged on the saw, but it's worth the wait. I made a, a quick sheath for it, or guard. The ones that they come with, they last about five minutes out in the cold. They usually snap. So this guard I made is not pretty looking, but... But I, I made it so you can open it up and maybe stick extra blades in there or extra gear. I'll make something better in the future but for now this is pretty good. One thing I really like about this Obus Form Boulder 85 is it comes with a detachable day pack and fanny pack. You can uh, wear these separately or together. But when I go out hiking Generally what I do is I hike for however long I feel like. I find a good spot, set up a day camp, then I put on my fanny pack and do some exploring, look for firewood, etc. And usually I keep all my emergency survival type gear in here, then it's always with me. So it's been a while since I've looked through any of my gear. It's going to be lots of uh, surprises for me as well. 
So the fanny pack comes right off and it's got a waist belt. I'm just going to start opening it up. I have a fire steel. I have a, I think it's a 27 piece uh, multi-tool, just a cheap one, but it's good to have. It's got a compass and light and everything on it. I have a slightly better compass for navigation. I have, uh, this is one of my thrift store finds. It's just a, a makeup mirror. Good for signaling or if you get something stuck in your eye or on your face, it's easy to, to see to pull it out. A lighter. In the small tin, I have uh, Ooh, these candles are melted, but I have two uh, tea light candles, an old uh, folding knife, a glue stick, safety pins, a bit of thread, and I also have um, emergency instructions that I got off the internet in case you're in an emergency. This I'll have to fix. These uh, two candles are actually melted. I'll have to replace those. This is more for a survival type situation. And it's always, I find it's a good idea to go through your pack at least every six months to a year. You find problems like that. Things don't last forever. I have a tensor bandage in case I twist an ankle or hurt my arm. Safety glasses. I always wear eye protection when I go in the woods, but in case I forget, I have some in my pack. Sharpening stone. I just bought this not too long ago, just a, a Mora knife. I usually carry a Gerber Big Rock with me, but every now and then I do forget to take things with me and it's, I always like to have everything I need in my pack, just in case I forget something. Emergency space blanket. Just some hand sanitizers. I have a small tarp here on the bottom. I can't remember how big it is now. And I also have a first aid book. This one's a little old and outdated, but I think it's still come in handy if anyone got injured. A whole bunch of these uh, hot hands and toe warmers, just in case I'm ever in trouble. Good way to keep my hands warm if I can't build a fire. I have just a cheap first aid kit. I have added to this. I've added uh, polysporin to help prevent infections. I added some 4x4 gauze pads for bigger wounds and some crazy glue to help seal any, any deep gashes. I also have some trail marker tape. It's going to help prevent me from getting lost. Uh, if I don't use this tape, I also make arrows on the ground. I follow lots of quad trails and game trails and it's really difficult for me to use a compass, I find. So this trail marker tape comes in handy. I also have some binoculars. I 
And I think that's pretty much it for the fanny pack. I'm going to open up this day pack now. So I got uh, two big bundles of cordage. I don't have any 550 paracord, it's kind of hard to find around here. But uh, this is pretty good. I have some more elsewhere in the pack. It's always good to have cordage for shelter building. Let's have some duct tape wrapped on a card. an orange toque. I usually dress pretty warm but in case something happens it's always good to have extra clothing. This one is bright orange because sometimes you do want to be seen. I go hiking where there's uh, hunters, poachers, and quarters and sometimes you want to be seen so this is a good way to, to do that. I also have a high-vis shirt for the same reason. A lot of times I go out during hunting season and I can throw this uh, either over top of my jacket if it's not a big jacket or I can hang it right over top of my pack because nobody wants to get shot. This is some mosquito spray. I took this out with me uh, on my last hike. This can come out now. It's All the mosquitoes are gone for the year. This is a 10 by 12 camouflage tarp. Uh, sometimes I don't really need this and I, I take it out just to save on space and weight. But it does make a very quick shelter. And I do have to say, uh, it's, it's nice and compact right now, but for some reason when I'm out in, the, out in the woods and I try to roll it up this nice and compact, it never works out. But I do, I can attach this to the outside of my pack if that happens. I have a burlap sack. This is a multi-use item. Uh, just to name a few, you can make a chair out of these burlap sacks. I mainly use it, I uh, roll it out and it's for laying down my gear. As I'm pulling things out of my pack, I have a nice dry place to, to put my gear. You can also collect uh, kindling, wrap it up in here. I could stuff this with leaves and use it as a mattress. I could also use it as a blanket. Stuffed with leaves, it'll be insulated that way. And if I was really desperate, I could use it for some tinder as well. Good multi-use item. I have a bandana. This could probably come out for the winter. I don't need that. Uh, this knife here I've had for many, many years. But I tried doing some batoning with it and it's not a full tang. And now the handle's got some play in it so that's why I bought the Mora. I'll probably retire this knife. On the outside of my pack this is one of my water bottles, just a cheap Rubbermaid. I go through lots of liquid when I go hiking. I bring not only water for cooking, but for drinking. I have a one liter stainless steel water bottle. And actually on the, on the bottle itself, I took an engraver and marked that it it is one liter or four, roughly four cups of water. It's good to know uh, how much these water bottles carry for if you're using water purification tablets or you're cooking, you know how much water to add. I have a compartment here on the bottom. 
And what I've been doing is putting all the items in here that I rarely ever use. It's hard to access this part with the fanny pack over top. So any items that I very rarely use, I put in the bottom. And I might actually move a few more items here. I'm still working on where everything, like where's the best place to put everything. I've only had this pack uh, since early spring. And I've only been on a few hikes with it, so I'm still trying to work everything out. Just have a big garbage, clear garbage bag here. This is my backup saw in case something happens with my my bow saw. It's a Fisker's power tooth. It works pretty good, but these uh, folding or retractable saws you have to use a lot of downward pressure. I've only used it a few times. This is my emergency fire kit. I've got all kinds of different tinders, lighters in here just to help me start a fire in case I'm in a really bad situation. Sometimes with our severe winters we have here I need all the help I can get. It's a little bit big. Uh, this can come out during the summer or fall hikes. I don't really need this. In this bag I have some maps of the local area. I also throw a few pieces of newspaper in here just to help me get a fire started sometimes. I have uh, another roll of cordage, just really fine, like bank line I guess you'd call it. about six nails in here. That's really good for shelter building. This is more of a survival type item as well. I have a can opener. This is still in my pack from a few years ago. I used to be more of a bring out canned foods instead of dry foods. So I always keep this in my pack still, just kind of out of habit. Headlamp, just for emergencies. I usually carry a light with me, but it's always good to have a backup. And this one's not working right now for some reason. I'll have to look into that. And in this uh, Ziploc bag, I have some compressed toilet paper probably about a roll and a half, and some soap. I think that's it for that section. This here is my, my main big section of this pack. This is the, the gear that I use quite often. I have here, I just bought this, I haven't used it yet, it's called uh, Clean Canteen. It's a 40 ounce stainless steel water bottle. That's, uh, that makes three water bottles that I carry. In here, this is a Pelican case. In here I carry a Energizer power pack. It's for charging my camera in case I run out of batteries out in the woods. My camera is a USB charge camera so I just plug it into this the power pack and I can recharge it out in the woods. This is a just a regular stainless steel cup. 
I've had this for quite a few years and even though I probably could get rid of it I still like to carry it with me. I have a, a kettle It's an anodized aluminum kettle. It boils water really fast. And I used to carry canned foods all the time, but I switched to dry. If you do a lot of uh, boiling water uh, to, to rehydrate your food or whatever, I recommend carrying a kettle. Because of the wide bottom, it'll boil water a lot quicker. This is pretty new. I have a cook set that my wife just bought me. It's, uh, it's made by Outbound, I believe. It's a three-piece nesting set. Anodized aluminum. Got a lid. A small bowl, a cup, and a pot. And what I did is I marked on here how much liquid this holds, just for if I'm doing any cooking. This contains, uh, will hold four cups of liquid. This one holds a cup and a half, and this one holds one cup. I just took my engraver and marked that on the steel. This is a little emergency radio. It's got a solar panel on the top. It's got a crank on the back. It has a LED light on the front. It's got a seven band uh, weather channel on it. Radio, AM, FM. And on the back, you can actually use this to charge your cell phone and any other USB devices. I could use it to charge my camera if I wanted to. Here's a folding shovel. I've had this for quite a few years. I don't really use it too often, but it's always, uh, I think it's a good thing to have. Uh, it's more for my car, I guess. I've used this to... I've been stuck during the winter. I've used this to get unstuck. I also use it for clearing snow uh, when I build a fire out in the woods to dig down to, to bare ground. This is a small hatchet. I made the sheath myself. And it's got a belt loop on it. So if I'm doing lots of lots of work with it, I'll just attach it to my belt so I don't have to carry it around. This is another one of my most used items. I would say my buck saw and my hatchet I use the most. This is my food bag. This is a pouch I made out of my out of canvas myself. And it just has a whole bunch of dry foods. I've got uh, apple cider, hot chocolate, beef bullion. This is an uh, orange drink crystals. Cream of wheat, Quaker oatmeal, it's a chunk of uh, aluminum foil. I have emergency, that's a thousand milligrams of vitamin C, good thing to have with you. I have some different kinds of soups. This needs uh, four cups of water. 
It's also a good idea to put, if it doesn't have the expiry date, this will, this stuff expires in June 2014. It's always good to have that. This is a, I used to have like a spork last year. That thing broke on me, so I went back to the stainless steel. It's just a spoon, fork, and knife on a key ring. I also carry these little clips in here just in case I don't use, if I only use half of the soup, I could seal it up so it doesn't spill. And I just have uh, extra sugars, salt, pepper. In this bag I have uh, two tea bags, some sugar, honey, coffee mate. And sometimes I do get tired of this, this dry food, so I'll bring out some real food, like some sausage or beef jerky, stuff like that, just to mix it up. Here is yet another toque. That's two. And this is one thing I get lots of slack over is carrying this grill. This came from an old barbecue. I actually trimmed some of it to shorten it up. I could go with something a bit lighter, but this one is uh, pretty much bulletproof. It's really good for uh, when you're doing your cooking. You just put some rocks or some wood to support the grill. And my new cook set does not have any hangers on it, so I do have to use some type of grill. I find it just, it's worth its weight. It makes my life so much easier. And, but I do get lots of slack over it, carrying something that heavy. I think that's pretty much it, except for a few more little things. This is my harness system here. On the harness, I carry another little uh, backup light. A thermometer, so I know how cold it is. An emergency whistle and just a really small folding knife. And on this side, I have a, a watch. Usually I bring a watch with me, but sometimes things happen or I do forget them, so I have an extra watch. I think that's pretty much it. Um, this pack, when it's fully loaded, is 35 pounds. It's a little heavy. But uh, I'm gradually going lighter, believe it or not. I'm trying to go lighter. There's a few items in here I just can't seem to get rid of. And one thing I'm going to do right now is weigh this pack empty. I did like a, a first look on this Obus Form Boulder 85. And I've had lots of people ask how much does it weigh when it's empty. So I'm going to do that right now. And this is probably one of the heaviest backpacks I've felt when it's empty. So that's pretty much all my gear for this year. If you have any suggestions or comments, leave them below. Thanks a lot.